Because the air is a byproduct of God. And the Lord gave me wisdom. I said, everything that is important in life, everything important in life, they are never seen. They are only felt. You only feel them. You don't see them. No one has ever seen love before. But if someone really loves when he calls you, your heart beats will start to race. And so that was the secret that God revealed to this man without arms. He said on the wedding day, I will not have arms to hold my wife. But he said, but I don't really need the hand to touch her heart. Touch the labor for me, touch somebody's heart. You don't need a hand to touch somebody's heart. Forget about yourself for once. Forget about your need for once. Affect somebody around you. Forget whether the person goes to church like you or not. Touch that person's life for once. Touch your husband. Touch your children. The testimony that we're listening to. The child was crying and looking at the mom. He said, Mom, I asked for this, you give me. I asked for that, you give me. Before I say Jack, you provide it. Mom, what can I ever do to make it to happen? That is touching somebody's heart. Just saying that alone can make the other person to come alive. Please don't leave this hall without making up your mind to touch somebody's heart. You want to believe all the children dancing, all the youths dancing, they are doing it benevolently. They came to touch somebody's heart. Let us all leave here with that message to touch another person's heart. In your school, in your place of work, as you walk on the streets, please touch somebody's heart. And I know God will strengthen us. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to teach us something that we need to try and do. He said, don't be angry at life. Tell your neighbor, don't be angry at life. It's the worst way to approach life. Look at the man who hit the donkey. You forgot that he used his wicked sanctions to hit the donkey. And the donkey said, I'm not even great. The life that you think is not good enough. Look at you, you are not in the hospital, you are not in the prison, you are angry at life. Maybe life should dump you in the prison for a minute. Maybe life should dump us in the mortuary and then we come back like Lazarus. Then you will know that life has been fair to you. You are saying, I have only mother. Let me come on, I show you Esther that have no mother and father. Don't be angry at life. It's the worst way to approach life. You can't be angry, by this say, but sin not. Then you don't let it be true. Tell the neighbor for me, life is for the living. Life is for the living. Some people get so angry, they carry knife and start to cut their hand. <laughs> You're too stupid. <laughs> and you cut. You, you first call 999. I'm going to cut myself now. Go to Africa and try it. The police will tell you, what are you waiting for? Are you stupid? Come quickly. Those of us alive have not finished it yet. He had a problem with the girlfriend. And he came to that Wilson Junction train station. I stood at the top and he said he wanted to commit suicide. Look at And all our brethren came, forensic, started to draw line. I said, ah, okay. hey. He said, say, you The boy said, I will jump. They said, please don't jump. All of them stood apart with microphone. Don't jump. What is the name of your best friend? We bring the girl here in five minutes. And all of them were running around. Look at police. One, one, one. They stop all the road. Come. Please, I wish I can take that boy to my archival. Even in Lagos State, you say you want to jump. A policeman will use stone and hit you. Wow, hurry up. Ready. They brought the girl for him. They were petting the girl. Please, tell him you are back. Tell him you want him back. And the guy said, I still love you. Say, still love you. Just said it to my daughter. Stupid boy. If only he lands on that train, you will know that life is for the living. If not that girlfriend, will have another boyfriend. May God help us. Life is for the living. Don't let me see you say you want to jump in front of train. Instead of that, jump in front of prosperity. Why do you choose the bad one? Why don't you choose to work hard? Why do you choose to jump in front of train? Cowards end life. The brave fight through. And those who push others, the door will be opened unto them. That's what God says. Push it a little. You think your parents brought you? You need to see what all these African they are heroes. They came. Bible said that train up a child in the way should go. When he grow, would not deviate from it. They deviated and still succeeded. Left hot Africa and came to go. Legion. 
You need to see how some of our brethren, our mothers, will dress for clothes just to make us graduate. And then I become a graduate, and the next I want to commit suicide. I'm a fool. You see me? You think the parents pay that price for you to commit suicide? The parents work all that hard for you to come and do Can you tell every woman in this place you are beautiful? Yeah. Money in the home to prove that you are the man. You already said that you are the man. Please, no matter what they do to you, don't show your skills so that they will recognize that you are the man. Because you are already the man. And all the women in the house, you are fearfully and wonderfully. Whether you can buy that for that this Christmas or not, whether you can buy a new dress or not, whether you are wearing the latest chain. Or gold that your mates are wearing or not, you are beautiful. You are beautiful exactly the way God has made you. And eternity will prove it. You don't need to prove it, eternity will prove it for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You want to tell everyone for me, don't worry about a thing. One more time, don't worry about a thing. One more time, don't worry about a thing. Please let that neighbor for me and say, be happy. Keep that happiness going. Yeah. 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 Yeah.